Live from downtown Detroit, Local 4 News at 6 starts now. A man freed from prison after spending more than seven years behind bars for a crime he did not commit. He is now suing and looking for an answer on how it happened. I want to know why they uh, accused me and why they uh, badged me and uh, kept telling me six times, you did it, you did it, you did it. Thanks for joining us, everybody. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. Mac Howell was convicted in August of 2016 of the armed robbery of a 7-Eleven in East Point. The suit alleges a detective on the case knew of a serial robber operating in the area at the time of the crime, but did not tell that to prosecutors or the defense. The suit also cites problems with the investigation and how Howell was deemed a person of interest by investigators. Well, Howell is now seeking $50 million against the detective who put him behind bars. Will Jones is live and has been following this story for us today. He joins us with more. Will. Kimberly and Devin, $50 million is a lot of money, but Mac Howell's attorney says his client lost out on so much in life while being in prison, and the detective must be held accountable. Mac Howell lives with nightmares after spending seven and a half years in a prison cell for a crime he didn't commit. He was convicted in an armed robbery at a 7-Eleven in East Point in 2016 and sentenced to 25 to 50 years in prison, basically a life sentence at his age. Now, I was real lost. You know, I was trying to figure out if I'm going to do life in prison. Howell has been a free man since March. The Macomb County Prosecutor's Conviction Integrity Unit overturned his armed robbery conviction due to evidence that was not presented at his trial, including a serial armed robber targeting 7-Eleven stores at the time. Now Howell has filed a $50 million lawsuit against East Point Detective Matthew Hambright. Howell's attorney, Wolfgang Mueller, says Hambright was in charge of the case. We're suing because it comes down to this. Hambright chose not to disclose the evidence of a serial robber that the defense was entitled to. Mueller also accused Hambright of convincing the 7-Eleven store clerk to identify how as the robber, despite her having only seen the robber's eyes. And in our criminal justice system, we can't get him fired and we can't put him behind bars. All we can do is get the amount of compensation that balances out the harm that was done. Hambright is listed as deputy police chief in East Point. We reached out to East Point police about the lawsuit and Devin, I was told by the chief, no comment. We will stay on it. All right, Will.